What's up guys, this is the Rover and I am back in the next episode of my Empire Total. Let's play as the United States. So to round off where we left off, we are engaging the Russians in the open field. As you can see we have a bit of a depleted army of ours coming into support, so let's bunch up a few of the more useful line infantry units towards the front, and I think that'll generally be it. Um, just in case we get smashed, because we are against is that 5,800-ish? And we are 5,300, so we should be fine. Um, but I just want to make sure. So they've got a nice big block of um, elite infantry, quite decent infantry actually. Some artillery and lots of cavalry, so I need to be careful how I deploy. But nonetheless, let's crash one, so you need to bear in mind I can't just uh, hunker down in defense. It all depends on what the terrain is. <clears throat> So let's see how we get on. So this is probably going to be phase one <clears throat> um, of this series of campaigns because while we may destroy their armies in want of... Um, there will be an amount of mo uh, mopping up to do afterwards and I'm probably going to want to do something like this. So if we deploy you there put my five units of line up front to about here deploy my artillery will not deploy them if I deploy my other ones nope good um, now on this flank let's alternate between guards infantry guards infantry to gain that ex um, <clears throat> useful combination of elite troops and firepower because 188 guards, while they are vun while they are dangerous, they I find they can get a lot of attrition. Let's probably get some guards and my light infantry on the left. So my plan is to move up to probably about here. Let's form a line sort of like this. Oh, and then my howitzers better not forget them. And my general. There, good. Let's crack on. Okay, so they are deploying on the reverse side of the crest of the hill. Reinforcements are coming in from the right flank. Let's run my infantry up in the middle to deploy some stakes. Artillery bits, these Lancer guards. Both these core corner units form square. And they are going to move on to the next unit that isn't in square. Oh no, they're going straight in. Excellent. Let's get our howitzers to start chucking quicklime because that would be a very juicy target. Put some stakes down in case they charge this unit of artillery. The rockets are firing again. They've not done a terrible job. That's quite not, not bad actually. Yep, yeah, cavalry is massing on the left. To be honest, I may even keep you guys like so. Oh god, here comes the quick line. All on the how all on the um rocket troops. Let's start to disperse this against the other units. And let's pivot you back a little bit. No, actually don't. Don't do shrapnel shot, just do round shot. Epic fail. Right. Didn't waste time shooting them, you shoot them. You guys go into ground, go into square formation. These are dragoons, so, oh. In fact, don't worry. Your hussars, so you might go in square on the flank. So 
So do round shot to take advantage of the lobbed shots. And these men are going to open fire. For some reason these dragoons think they can match a line infantry in the open field. There you go. Excellent position to engage. Across the field. The centre unit is going to get fairly weak, but I think they should. There'll be, well, be more than enough to withstand. So here comes the hussars. Let's bring my general over. Let's get these guys out of square and see if we can tempt them into an attack. If not, then I will just move them up. Too late, chum. My guards can open up. Okay, and these guys are well placed to start engaging. Russian reinforcements. Let's get my gun crews to get back to their guns. You get out of line, start supporting your comrades. Turn off from this. Okay, get this guards unit back out to the field. You man your guns. Push, push the left. Because these men are holding on right now. Oh, they're against guard grenadiers. So you get ready to turn on fire will to guard that flank. Goes to pull back, backs against the hill. Get you to pull out and join them. You engage the Eastern European mercenaries. Regiment of foot, get you to start firing. Canister shot. Get you to engage in this combat, support your line infantry brothers. Some more artillery is going off for a run. You come up here, charge these Russians in the back. These guys get a fine round shot. This unit to the rear. Goons. Good, they're routing, so then let's get all of you to turn and meet this Cossack threat. Let's 
turn artillery to more accurately face the enemy. You guys all just chat and shot the general, because he's right there. Cavalry, my general, because I want to use him to hit the rockets, but by the looks of it, they're not actually firing anyway. That's their general gone. Do round shot and keep pounding. Yeah, the rocket troop is firing. No, you guys are firing the wrong target. Regiment of foot, regiment of foot, same with the, the howitzers. If these guys charge my guns, that would be a handy trade, because my guns are currently useless. And there's some lovely spikes. Now let's halt firing canister. you guys around this line of consumers units come back excuse my this line of infantry to capture the section of the hill You know, guards should fall. Well, they've done very well not to. I presume, ah, they're on a bit of a death rate, actually. This unit can't really hit them. So, because none of these guys can, but the guys from the back can. Guys up on the ridge. Let's get you. Let's, honest, let's get position you guys a bit further down the hill. Let's position this infantry in a better position. Maximize my artillery. Put some guys back to try and form a bit of a reserve. Maybe I can try to get these guys to actually, if I can just to withdraw because they're not useful at all.
One shot of the regiment of horse, right at the rear. Make sure everyone <coughs> make sure everyone's got their fire well activated. Gonna be a terrain issue here. Maybe it's fall this line back a bit further to entice them to come a bit closer. Because we are going to start getting to a point where troops are running out of ammunition. When we do that, we're just going to start engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's all combining our firepower against these grenadiers. So when a sizable chunk of mites, they run out of ammo, so they're just going to wait. Maybe they might absorb some firepower from other units. Charge them in. I mean they're not really doing anything useful. Okay, they've routed. Oh, here come my here comes the cavalry. So let's charge into them with this reinforcement, reinforcing unit of line infantry. The reinforcements are here. Let's just set them running. Goes of all, still got ammo, just. They've got one more volley in them, I think. And they're out. Okay, I'm just going to combine this wing. Storm the Tsar guards. Fair bit of ammo. Let's move up. Let's engage in the Russian way of war. Let's hold our artillery fire. Let's commit our general. Let's hold this artillery fire. So I'm hoping this fight resolves and I can start to move some of these troops over here to support this combat because I don't oh, this unit has gone into square and it's gone hidden but that's fine so I'm gonna route run around them. These are rifle scouts so these guys should fall quickly in the melee. Cossack infantry? Yeah Cossack infantry. Slam into the 12 pound howitzer. Run on into the Tsar Guards. Charge straight on into the Cossacks. Very, very bloody battle this one is. This one has turned out to be. Yeah, let's continue this. So let's pull all my infantry back and let's get my... Okay, so kill the rifle and scouts because there's not that many of them. Ooh, go after the Tsar Guards as well. There's only two of the remaining. Okay, go after them. 
Because Cossack infantry I'm not bothered about. Whereas Rifleman Scouts, Grenadiers and these Special Grenadiers I'm, I'm more of my ticket. Good. Come on. So there's this guy over here and there's a guy over here somewhere. So it remains to be seen if I'll actually manage to kill them. So he's gone. Yeah, oh yeah, he's legged it way he's over here. Yeah, I like his odds. He's going to make it. That my cavalry is probably going to get to about here. Oh, I've been way over it's optim over over optimistic. Still close victory. Yeah, it was a and it's still a a more devastating blow for the Russians than it is to myself. So they've been pushed back to the river, or over the river even. They've ever everyone's been pushed back. We can't do that, sir. You replenish, right, you're replenishing. So effectively you push on towards them. Let's start to do a bit of replenishment against key industry in this area. Good, Minsk can stay under siege. You're being replenished. You're also being replenished, you're being repaired. Okay, so got a full Swedish army here sir so what I would like is where is one of my navies see I'm still waiting for the Marathas down here to do something oh, you're all just a bunch of um, privateers so go to a trade zone um, where's my Okay, so there's a fleet. So let's just go here, ready to, to prevent the Swedes from breaking out. And really, I only want to declare when these guys have finished replenishing, so I've got three good stacks to push over um, the Straits, and then I can also send these guys down to go hit Norway immediately. So Minsk is the last remaining the original towns, they well the original the towns, to be hit. Yes, sir. Battalions ready. And let's assault Minsk. Because we've really done a huge amount of damage to the Russians in this assembly um, armies to actually support their troop. We've got far too many armies for their economy to support, so I think things are going well. And we will soon be in a position to drive down into the Indian subcontinent. To be honest, once we take the Russian, their usual method of beating you with mass just won't work. Okay, so if we're going to hit the town, let's keep the artillery back. Guard it with my regulars and my militia. Let's create one wing to advance from the east. Well, I don't know if it is it true east or west, but there we are. Everything's opened up, and I feel sorry for this unit of puckle guns. Fill the line, I might move these guys up actually. To make it a bit harder for them to flank. Everyone else start dropping artillery into the rest of town. Be a lovely quick climb here if they got it in. Hidden unit of sharpshooters. 
Not something to worry about, because they are light infantry. It's still engaging, but to be honest, I'm okay with it. Let's run this infantry, because they're starting to move up. Stopped. Swamp the Dragoon, or, or don't. <laughs> you fire a lovely shot to the flank of the Dragoons with your expert marksman's ship skills. Probably killed more of my countrymen, or, well, perceived countrymen. Let's run you into the Cossacks too, and let's continue the advance for you. You're about to hit where you are into rifle range, musket range with my regular troops. are kind of left to the slaughter. But the great thing about militia is even not very good, even you can even they can mob mob infantry units. These guys want to run down my flank. I'm more than happy to oblige. You are asking for a perfect quick climb shot. There we go, then a good old fashioned infantry shootout on the right flank. Yeah, my regulars got absolutely minced, so. Delicious. Let's get ready to storm the town centre. Charging my centre. They're going to get surprised when these guys get ready to fire again. the infantry to the assault. You charge up into the militia, you charge up into the guard musketeers, you get rid of this, you guys run up. Just run in and then let's just keep your general close. Yes, you should be concerned about your exposed flanks, because I'm about to smash troops into them. You go secure the town hall, all of you guys smash into this sharpshooter unit and then get ready to run over here 
and smash into the rear of that formation. Looks like my guys are holding the line. The conscript is shaken. The cavalry's. Oh, I'll get it off. Oh. Symbolically go secure the town hall or everyone else runs straight into the back of this melee fight. Even militia will do the job, so you're probably going to go. In the middle, where our position is weakest. Because right now I've got a, we do have very much have a thin line. Ah, you've been charged in the rear by my own militia. Everyone gets stuck in. It's a Russian feast and everyone's invited. Beautiful. Everyone's retreating. Oh, ooh, and we killed their general. Even better. Turn everyone's firewall off because all they're going to do is kill. Send the battles we've managed to secure the town and we immediately want to start building wall. It can't be a couple of turns, so it's questionable if I'll actually get the benefit from it, but I think it's worth doing just in case they try to in case anything just in case things happen. Good. Replenish. Make ready. Let's move you up. Actually, what have you got? Loads of cavalry, that's what you got. Let's move you up and hit Borislav Korzanyenko. However, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing assaults on Russia.